understanding on your classification of accounts so when i say classification of accounts what does that mean we have actually two types of accounts here and then mainstream for accounting we say three types of accounts so see how am i doing it types of accounts and the two main streams which i can say is personal account and the other is impersonal account other than your personal account so impersonal and two types of your impersonal accounts are nominal account and real account so let's first under, understand what is personal account see three types of accounts can be personal accounts one is a natural person personal account see mr ram mr rahim these are natural persons created by god so their account is known as included in your personal account first is your natural person second what second is your artificial person second artificial person now what is artificial person created by law has a legal existence known by its name for example a private limited company it is registered by law known by its name not created by god so that is your artificial person example companies clubs legal authority your banks schools colleges they all are artificial persons and included in your personal account now third type of personal account is representative personal account representative personal account this theory is really important because it is connected to your practical questions so pay attention whenever personal account is there only three things can be happening natural person created by god artificial person created by law or otherwise than natural person banks etc banks clubs authorities school colleges private limited companies all are artificial persons now representative persons see for example i have not paid salary of a group so for for me it will be outstanding salary correct and those people collectively they i have to owe salary to them i have to still give them salary so a common group of person is known as representative persons and the example is outstanding salary say proprietors capital so capital koi kisi ko represent kar raha hai mr x ki capital hogi wo drawing mr x ki drawing hogi okay capital represents the owner of the uh, business and drawing drawing from the capital only you are drawing uh, out the amount right so all these mentioned here are your personal accounts say now take more example natural person so raja raja's account sita's account all personal accounts okay now tell me more example bank of india institution artificial person this type of account is again personal account accrued rent 
डिनोट्स अ ग्रुप ऑफ पर्सन और अ सिंगल पर्सन जिसका रेंट अक्रूड है ओके सो अगेन इन योर पर्सनल अकाउंट योर कैपिटल अकाउंट योर ड्रॉइंग अकाउंट एंड वाई डू वी एट ऑल मेंटेन पर्सनल अकाउंट वी मेंटेन पर्सनल अकाउंट टू फाइंड आउट इफ अ पर्सन इज अ डेटर और अ क्रेडिटर टू मी मीन्स इफ इफ ही इज अ डेटर आई हैव टू टेक मनी फ्रॉम हिम और इफ ही इज अ क्रेडिटर आई हैव टू पे मनी टू हिम सो वी मेंटेन ऑल दीज पर्सनल अकाउंट टू फाइंड आउट इफ दीज पर्सन आर माई डेटर और क्रेडिटर नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू योर इमपर्सनल अकाउंट टू टाइप्स ऑफ इमपर्सनल अकाउंट नॉमिनल अकाउंट एंड रियल अकाउंट फर्स्ट लेट्स लेट मी टेक द रियल अकाउंट सो एनी अकाउंट ऑफ योर एसर्ट्स योर प्रॉपर्टी comes under your real account now think of any asset your cash then your plant and machinery then investments government bonds shares motor car furniture they are all my assets help me in running the business so these all assets or property accounts are my real accounts why do i maintain real accounts to find out the cost or the value of the property or asset i hold to find cost value of assets i maintain the real account now it includes real account will include all your fixed assets as well as your current assets that is whether you hold it for 12 months or more than 12 months sab kuch real account hi hai then your tangible asset your intangible asset for example goodwill so goodwill is also your real account you cannot touch the name of a firm but then it it gives that reputation gives you customer so that is goodwill of the firm a real account now come up to nominal account now see what is left any account related to see again very important account related to what expense income then loss or gain will be your nominal account say for example rent when i say rent it is rent paid if only rent is said so rent paid is my expense audit fees if it it is only said audit fees means audit fees paid again my expense salary your purchases these are all your expense now loss by fire or accident means what this is a type of loss so my expenses or losses account is all no nominal account now rent received if only rent is said means rent paid now rent received specifically said received is your income rent received is your income commission received commission received is my income again so 
all nominal account actually they are fictitious or imaginary accounts and we make them to find out what to find out our expenses or losses or income or gain of a particular period and you should be very clear in the concept which is personal account which is real account and which is nominal account because that will ultimately help you find debit and credit accounts hai kya debit or credit ka hi to sara game hai so first try to find out kaun sa teen type of accounts hai and then how do we use with it with the golden rules to find out what is debit what is credit